This is a full tour of my home office in Tokyo. So several weeks ago, I gave you guys a first look at this home office. There was nothing really in here at the time. And we've been working really, really hard to get this place as it is right now. As you can see from behind me, there is a lot more furniture, a lot more stuff going on. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through this whole place and show you what we've done with it. And a fair warning, Michael will probably be coming in and out because this is her desk right here. But nonetheless, I will take you guys through this whole entire place and show you everything. First of all, let's start in the main office area. Just behind me before we had just like this full empty wall and what we decided to do was just put three desks right here. We have two PCs and then just here. I was trying to figure out what to do with this empty space and I decided to put a TV on here. We can watch Netflix or we actually have a little PC that I purchased and you can connect it. It's one of those super tiny like mini micro PCs and I've just attached it to the back and then I've hung it on the wall just like so on four hooks so that it should be pretty stable. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward, but you know, if we ever need help or someone needs to come in and like work with us, whatever, there's a little PC for them to come and work with us. Uh, it took a little bit of time just to be able to get that TV set up properly. And then I've actually just put some cable management down there. This being Japan and the apartments, how they have it set up, you can't put a lot of holes in the walls. You can't really do a lot of that kind of stuff. So I just put masking tape on the wall and put the cable management on top of that so that when we leave, it's easy to take off. And then just below the desk, you know, one of the things that I really don't like are the cables that are just all over the place. So we got some mesh tubing to go through here and it all goes down to over there. I also decided to color code all of the cables so that you know which cable goes to which PC just to make it a little bit easier to track the cables and where they go. And then just to clean up the excess cable, we put them in these like little cable boxes and then we have our main server just right there and our UPS, you know, God forbid that there's like a power outage or like a power spike. So we have a power supply all supporting the PCs. So this is Michael's desk right here just behind me. As you can see, she really likes plants. So she has a plant right there. She has a plant in front of her. One of the issues that we had... Oh, hi. Okay, so I guess Michael's joining this part of the video. Having a couple of noodles, as you can see. That's a flavor. Laksa? Oh, that's nice. So um, one of the issues that we had with setting up Maiko's desk was that it's over here, but all of the server equipment, our NAS is over here with the power supply and everything. So we did need to cable all that stuff and having all the cables come through this main walkway area was kind of in the way. So what we decided to do instead was just run a lot of the cable management along the wall here so that her PC is also on the power supply. It's connected by Thunderbolt to the NAS so she can work all from right here. Pretty straightforward. I know that a lot of people had some comments on what we should do at this place so I appreciate all of those comments. Let me know what you guys think of how we have set things up right here. Okay so here we go. I'm actually super excited about showing you this part of the office. You know I mean it is small. We had to do the best we could. Again we live in Tokyo so we don't have these like huge studio warehouses that a lot of other content creators have. So basically what we've done with this space right here. We've turned it into our studio space. Probably the first thing you'll see is that I've set up some acoustic panels all along the wall just to deaden a lot of the echo that was happening earlier on. Maiko and I have identical desks. The only difference is that I have a Mac Studio and I have a few more arms and monitors than she does. So this is my desk as you can see. I do a lot of the data management as well so taking up backups. So it's nice to have all of the Thunderbolt ports on the Mac Studio. Something that you guys might be wondering is what desks and chairs are we using? And for this video, we actually lucked out while we were like moving. We met with an awesome furniture vendor called Kofo. They actually offered to send us these chairs and these two standing desks. It made our office set up so much easier. So first of all, for the desk itself, you can just press this. It'll go up to wherever height you want it to. And then there's three presets so I have it perfectly set for how high I want it to go and then if I want to drop it down I just press the button like that and it goes down. What's also nice about this desk, it actually has a bunch of accessories that, that you can get. One of them is are these like magnetic hooks that it comes with like this whole bottom side is a magnet and it also comes with this drawer which you can pull out 
just like this. You can just move it around. It also has magnets. So if I wanted to, I can put it here. Oh. <laughs> What's also cool is you get these little magnetic straps and basically if you have cables that are coming from the top to the bottom, you can just stick it on like that so your cables will not just be like dangling all over the place. It also has this magnetic tray for all of your cables. It's pretty dope. Like I have so many cables, I have power ships and everything and it's holding it all in place. It makes cable management so easy. What more can I say? Oh, let me talk about the chairs. These chairs are pretty awesome. So it has a hook right here for your bag and then as a coat hanger. It has lumbar support right here on for your lower back already. And it has kind of like a mesh, you know, on super, super hot days. It kind of ventilates everything. And everything is just so super adjustable. The neck rest right here adjusts just like this. Down here, you can see that all of this is adjustable. But what I really love about this chair is that it has a built-in footrest. Boom, so that comes up like that. Just like this. And if you want, you can find the seat. And then you can lock it into place. And you can just chill. So it's super comfortable. I can't say enough to the Kofu guys for hooking this up with this one. I'll leave the link of all their stuff in the description. Oh, another thing that I should also mention is on top of the Kofo desk and chairs that we got, also this Kofo neck massager. Michael, can you show them? Oh, I love this thing. You, it's on the neck, mm -hmm. like this. So you can choose the one with heat and without heat. This is the strength. I want it with heat. I don't think they get it yet. This is electrical pulses, yeah. Just like the yeah, yeah, like the pulses. This gets really really strong. I've actually had many different kinds but like I'm so sore yeah. and a lot of it doesn't even work. But this one it goes really high so like I really like it. Thank you so much for your demonstration. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> okay, so before we continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If y'all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Now with Fluid Engine, their next generation website design system, it helps anyone unlock their creativity with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. And start with their professional website templates, but then customize it like I did for my website to fit your own needs. Check out my homepage, it shows my latest video for both my channels. If you want to sell products online, physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has you covered. Sell custom merch, Squarespace has you covered. Want to accept online appointments? Guess what? Squarespace also has you covered. So there you go, go to squarespace.com today for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. I think a lot of you have probably seen this sofa and I've mounted all of our lighting equipment, the camera, and the display all on this table. So it's quite movable. Just rolls on these little wheels down here. You can adjust the height if you want it a little bit, but I keep it pretty steady. We have our microphone. Everything is just a setup is so easy. One of the reasons why I set this up when we first started YouTube, um, I think I mentioned this before, but we were in our old studio apartment, which was, I don't know, maybe 35 square meters. And every time we wanted to film home video, we had to like like set up the camera, set up the lights, set everything up. It just took so much time that I ended up not wanting to film anything because it just took forever to like put everything on the tripod. So I decided when we moved that I would have something that's super portable, that's easy, and just we put it all on this desk. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's like lasted us for several years now. It makes everything super easy. And one thing I do want to mention, you probably hear that it's less echo in this area just because of all this like sound absorption going on. Also. Just looking above, you can see I got a bunch of lights here. It was actually equal on both sides, six and six but Maiko didn't like having so much brightness in it on her side, so I took two of the lights, took them off, and put them on here. I just love working the light, so there you go. You can just move this, see the lighting set up. Probably you guys won't see this normally, but this is how it is. Oh, and that said, let me show you one more thing. This cabinet shelf thing right here is our charging station. Basically, I have all the cameras and the lenses at the bottom, and then all the charging on top. Sometimes I come back from a shoot and there is just so many batteries I've gone through throughout the day So it's nice to have multiple charges just to throw all the batteries in there and let it charge for several hours or maybe even overnight But yeah, I mean at the end of the day I pretty much just use one camera for my main setup for 
all my videos, I'm still using EOS R. Um, I do have the R5, but it doesn't work so well with a gimbal, especially since I shoot super wide on a 15 mil. Oh, and then for the studio right here, I put a little cover plate on the light switch because actually our whole, like this studio system is just connected to the ceiling right here. So, you know, if someone turns off the lights and they turn off, you know, me filming. When you have it coming from the ceiling, it just makes things a little bit cleaner. So not a lot has changed. Well, I guess just down here, Maybe kind of show you we've set up this little table area so if you want to have lunch here we can might go put some paintings on there just to make it a little bit more homey but aside from that it hasn't changed too much oh sorry sorry I forgot one more thing okay so what we did here is we put a whiteboard on this side so if we need to brainstorm ideas or anything like that we can do it all here on a whiteboard let me show you So here is a kitchen area, not too much different than before. Just added these water drainers, added hand sanitizer, and then we added a small refrigerator and also an espresso machine and a little teapot. So fairly, fairly simple. As far as the toilet area, Michael just gonna put her little touch on it, added some paintings, added some more plants, added a mat. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And then for this hallway area, we added our two silver play buttons. One for Paolo from Tokyo, and then also the other one for Tokyo Zebra. This one is quite funny because we wanted to add Maiko on as well. So we put N Maiko. The gold play button is actually in our house as you guys probably saw in the previous video. One thing that I'm quite happy about is what we did with the bathtub. I know that many of you guys had some suggestions on what to do with it. Let me show you what we did. Okay, so this area hasn't changed so much. The washing machine, still there. Sink, still there, nothing changed. But what we did with this bathtub is I turned this whole bathtub into a little photo studio. Kind of just took the idea from that photo box we had and the bathtub itself comes with these little rods that are used for hanging clothes, but I actually use that to hang some photo paper, I guess, or like plastic paper. I just roll that all the way down so that creates a backdrop. And I use the old photo studio light and just put it all around so we get some reflection as well. Um, in terms of power, there was some lights here before, but there was no electricity actually coming into the bathtub, which makes sense, there's no outlet. So what I did was I took the light bulb out and I got a little adapter that changes it into AC adapter, but also allows you to still make use of the light bulbs. These LED lights that are sitting right here are from the old photo box and just reuse them. So one of the biggest concerns was the water. Obviously you don't want any water coming out. So I was actually able to shut off the water. There's like a screw that you can just like screw it tight so no water will come out. It worked out really well and then just to make sure in case something else happens I put a little bit of masking tape around the water handle just as a precaution. But yeah I don't think any water will come out. I think that's pretty much it. And you can see you got the camera, the tripod, and we can shoot all of our product B-roll here. It makes it really, really easy to do now. And this bathtub doesn't go to waste. Quite happy how it all turned out. One thing I should also mention is that I got these cool headphones from Ola Dance. They were sent to me for free. I told them that I'd put it in the video because they look so cool and I wanted to try it. These are really interesting headphones. And once you just like put it on, it just like connects to your phone. As you can see, it's not actually going into my ear or I can talk to Maiko and we can talk to each other or I can walk around. I can ride my bike and do all these kind of things without just blocking out all the sounds so I can hear everything. The sound quality is pretty good. It actually has kind of like a deeper bass to it. So if people that really like bass, then you might like these headphones. It's waterproof, sweat resistant, and you can make phone calls on it as well. Play or stop music, start or reject calls, adjust volume or activate voice assistant. You can all do it from just touching the side of this headphone. Okay, so that is a full tour of the office. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, help us out and hit that like button. If you guys 
well and helps with the channel. Check out the Japan merch. If you have any questions or have any other suggestions on what we could do about this place, then leave that in the comment section. And finally, if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.